One of the most constant things about art is that it is always changing and evolving. As new technology emerges, many artists have embraced it and included it in their own masterpieces, using the same technology to advance their purpose of expression. But what is art? Any form of expression, I suppose. Not in possibly tangible form, like dancing or singing or art or drawing, sculpting. I mean, art is, you know, how I construct the things that are inside my head in a semi-physical way. Art to me personally is undefinable. It's something like, you know, something like love. Like, it, it's a small word, but you can't exactly define it. So, for me personally, it's a hobby. It's something I do, something I like. It's just, it's just creation. That's what it is. You create something. Uh, well, I actually have been doing music for about 10 years and art to me is whatever I feel inside me that comes out of my fingers on the piano. Like if I'm angry, I could make something angry. If I was feeling upset, it would sound sad. So it's my feelings, but it's also the way I put it together. Art is like a expression for me to communicate uh, my visions to the world. Whatever you choose to express yourself with, like, you know, and self-expression. For many, art is a way to make a living, and for others, it is a form of self-expression. Some include writing and photography as art, and others may not. But what about images generated by computer programs? Is this art? It started in the 1960s with artist Desmond Paul Henry, who invented the drawing machine. Henry used a bombsite computer to create patterns and line drawings. The public found these sensational. Since then, more and more people have turned to computers to act as an aid in their artistic process. Programs like Photoshop, 3D Studio Max, and Macromedia Flash are among the more prominent programs used in computer-aided art. Yet some artists wonder about the integrity of art when technology is used. As computers get smarter and better, and actually begin making their own art, many artists are shocked by, and even suspicious of, the sophistication of the software. An artist named Aaron takes art to a new level with technology. Aaron draws and paints still life in a way that many artists had never dreamed of just 10 years ago. His work tends towards the abstract and his artwork utilizes computers in a way never seen before. Yet what makes his work different from the work of other artists? Aaron is a computer program developed in 1973 by Harold Cohen. There is no one behind the screen. Aaron's process is completely automated. He is a computer who can paint. Aaron's painting and drawing abilities are still primitive, but in just 30 years he has come a long way from the scribbles he began with. It's enough to make some artists a bit nervous. Even Cohen himself has not practiced art since the beginning of this lifelong career project. What started as an experiment in computer intelligence has also resulted in the end of Cohen's individual artistic career. Clearly, computers have affected the perception of art. Many find Aaron's work to be surprising, despite knowledge that computer-aided art has been around for quite some time. Still, many artists feel that they are not threatened in the least. As far as the regular general art is concerned, you know, like you have an art, you have, you frame it, uh, you know, I, I imagine that it'll probably be mass-produced, cheaply made, like the average consumer will probably, you know, like buy a couple, put it in their house, rather than want to pay $1,500 for something a person did. Uh, but I imagine the rich community, the you know sophisticated community, will probably continue uh, contracting traditional artists for some time. Okay. It will just kind of become another tr another medium to do art. Because if you're just limited to just Photoshop and and Painter, there's not really much you can do with it. Well, when you talk about artists, you have to keep in mind that there's studio artists and there's commercial artists. What you're talking about here is more commercial art, and, and that's quite different because there will always be studio artists. Um, I, I just don't think a computer could ever get rid of that because that's each person's own form of visual expression or however they choose to express it. Well, I think that's a false paradigm to say that one thing replaces another. It's simply another medium. I mean, cave painters back in like 10,000 BC used pigment oil to sketch on rock. Now. 
we have evolved a long ways from since then. We have a lot more different mediums, but that doesn't mean that simply it's being replaced. You, you got to talk about like what's popular in commercial use. Obviously, digital works are popular in commercial use because of what it allows them to do. So in that sense, as to replace digital mediums, and you could say you know some academias prefer to teach traditional. But like I said, who is consuming the art? If more people in the market like digital, then obviously it will be replaced. If more people buy traditional artworks, obviously traditional will become popular. But I think if you look at the continuum of art as a historical perspective, there's been art for over 5,000 years, and a lot of it has been d done with a brush. I don't think with, in like 50 years with like a tablet that suddenly gets erased. I, I think the future continues along with traditional. I think the big things like maybe advertising and really wide, widely known widespread comic books probably would have Aaron, but I know throughout history there's always been like there's always been those people who strongly believe in in their convictions and they're like oh I want to do this by hand not automated you know I don't want to be a slave to technology so there's always going to be some people who want to do it themselves as far as mass production I would say for advertising and big comic books and stuff like that, yeah that'll be the mass production but I know that there still have to be some people who would like to see original art done by a person. Because they'll say they get really good at AI, I still feel like human emotion on your paper, human emotion on your canvas, on your computer, anything, is really what is being shown in the art. I, I don't think they could ever replace you know, human artists, especially if they're mass produced and they all do the same thing. But should they be? It's easy to look at Aaron's work and see elementary school drawings. On the other hand, Aaron has advanced so much in even the past 20 years that it may not be much longer before beautiful paintings are created by computers. When that happens, what will this mean for the artist? Years ago, the harpsichord was the instrument of choice. However, with the invention of the pianoforte, the harpsichord went into complete disuse. Today, it is rare that anyone can play the harpsichord at all. The pianoforte is still popular for one reason. It has a higher level of technology and expands the limits of what one can do easily. As technology grows and expands, programs like Aaron could eventually become sophisticated enough to create art which is mass printed and hung in one's house. Users could potentially